Good morning everybody, it's a slightly different video today. I am a little bit short on time, so we're doing a get ready with me while I have a bit of a chitty chat about my thoughts about the big revelation. So let's get started. I will be moving backwards and forwards, so if you get a bit seasick, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just digging into my little makeup setup here. I've tried to reorganize it, but it's still not exactly what I want, but it's better than it was. It's 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 been sorted and everything. Okay, so today we're just going for a real quick, quick, a cookie quick a, a quick cookie look cook look okay so she's revealed to the world that she is primer hydrating um uh that she's got kidney issues what a shocker we would never have guessed it now i believe that she's come out today only 24 hours after not wanting to talk about it oh my head looks like weird at that angle but anyway we'll shift around a bit um, because she was bombarded with the clickbaits and people were really annoyed with it in her chat, in her comments section, all the reactors, like nobody was down with it. She was literally railroaded with the clickbaitiness of it all. And nobody was down with it. Now she took 13 minutes, around the 13 minute mark to get to it. She had to let all the new people in her world know her extensive, unhealthy, health record for all the newbies. Mm -hmm. So she took about 13 minutes of a 16 minute video to tell us she's got fucked kidneys. Her kidneys are on the decline. Okay, and it's like, it's no surprise to anyone. Her chat was telling her for ages. Anybody who read anything about diabetes would know that this is one of the big factors. That And the fact that she's just doesn't take care of it. She doesn't move, she doesn't drink a lot of water, she drinks a lot of sugar. She's more prone to it because of the diabetes. She was actually prone. She had some kidney issues beforehand. No surprise, everybody guessed it anyway. And it's kind of cute karma because BBJ was suffering with it. So imagine how BBJ felt. Yeah, she was feeling the discomfort in her bladder. She was feeling aches and pains in her body too, for years. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like sweet karma. Love it. Um, concealer, because we're old. Um, so I think that's beautiful. Now, my question is, my question is, if you don't have to travel, if you don't have to travel, and you need to save money because you've got some chronic illness that you're playing the ma a life game of Jenga with, would you be focusing on going on holidays and traveling if you didn't absolutely have to because you would need it blends well don't worry it's a bit scary i know um would you be focusing on traveling right now and spending all those resources on luxury items would you be doing that i certainly wouldn't be doing that i'd be putting all my pennies aside because i am somebody who's notoriously bad at looking after my health I'm somebody who has a really, 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 really entrenched eating disorder and I can't get any sort of control over it at all. So I would think that my chances of getting my kidney issues under control would be pretty fucking slim. So I would be thinking, babes, we can't travel right now. Babes, babes. Traveling right now is probably not our priority. It would be something that we'll consider once you've got Got your health under control and it's a bit more stabilised. Because I'm sure if her kidneys are acting up, the diabetes are probably acting up too. The sugars are out of control because she's not eating anything good. So I would be thinking, no, let's just pool our resources. We'll put the holes on, on back burner. Look, I love you so much. This is Salah talking. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm willing to put my travel agenda on hold for you to get better. We don't need to go anywhere. I know it's been a while since I've been to Thailand and had my late night walks. But you know what? What's six more months? Let's give it six months and we'll see how you are at the end of it. And then we'll go on holes because it's not a priority now. Or is it? Or is it that her status is that she has to travel every three months and she freaks out every three months because she's so fat? It's difficult on a plane. Like her body... Makes it harder. And wouldn't kidney issues make flying in that a little bit harder? Like, I don't know. How does that interact with travel? Now, the fact that she's in discomfort all the time would make her absolutely miserable. And she did say that she needs to pee literally every 30 minutes at the minute. How's that going to go when you're traveling? Uh, we're just going to use a, this Rimmel one. 
It's a good one. I've got about three different ones. This one's just a quick one because it's very, very close to my skin tone. Don't have to work it very much and it's really light and it's got a little bit of a dewy look to it. Um, if you've got to pee every 30 minutes, what's holidays going to be like? You have to be near the toilets nearly all the time. You have to literally have a map out of where all the public toilets are and hope and pray to God. I know it looks a bit red, but it, it comes out fine. Um, You'd be pr hoping, praying that you have a toilet near you all the time. And we know that Chantal has issues with public toilets. So she says, I don't understand. Most public toilets are probably cleaner than her own home, Dunny. Oh, I don't know what the problem is there. Oh, that's right. She's fake OCD. One of her come and go type of like situations that she's got with her with her health problems. Um, oh, that's not the one I use. I use Kabuki brush. Where's my Kabuki brush? Got to pull this guy out. Oh, there you are. There you are. I use this thing because it spreads beautifully, like Dee Dee. Um, we we need to know where the toilets are. Anybody who's had a baby or a UTI would know that when you're out and about, you want to know where the toilets are 24/7, just in case you have any accidents and you're perpetually like feeling like you need to go to the toilet. And that's Chantal right now. So. When she goes to Malaysia, is she going to have a map marked out with all the toilets? Is that where they're going to be doing their walking routes to? It's like, oh, public toilet here, public toilet there. At least you know in Malaysia they're probably going to be clean because, you know, that's how they roll over there. Um, that's going to be fun. Um, how is she going to be able to control her diet while she's traveling? Because with kidney disease, don't you have to sort of like make sure you're not eating too much protein and you have to have lots of whole foods. Like it's a whole situation. Traveling right now with all these chronic illnesses that she seems to have would seem to be like the worst thing to do. Now, I wouldn't be doing it and I wouldn't, my husband probably wouldn't expect me to do it either. He'd be like, focus on your health, babe. Just do that. If you're not right, I'm not right. But that doesn't seem to probably be the situation. She needs to travel. So she's truly, truly fucked. That's why she's probably panicking. And oh my God, didn't she look a sight today? She she at least had the look up. I don't know who did hair and makeup for her today, but this performance was perfection. She looked sallow. She looked sad. She looked blank. She looked blend. She looked a little bit scared. So whether it was genuine or she just did a really good acting job, she certainly pulled it off. She looks like she's about to freak. And we go up, up with the blush. She certainly does look a miserable miser at the minute, does it? A little bit on, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the chin, a little bit here, a little bit here. Not much, because we don't want to look crazed. We don't want to go to work looking crazed, do we? No. Now, where's my brush? Where's my brush? Here's my brush. Got my brush. Got my little, got my little blush brush. We just blend. We just blend. We blend up here. We don't blend down here because we don't want the entire face to look fluffed. Um, so, yeah, so there's some of the thoughts that I've got. Now, what else am I thinking? Oh, the, the pool party, the poo poo pool parties with Captain Poo Poo, Frank and Pooper, bitch tits. Nobody's enjoying those. She had four and a half thousand views on that one in 12 hours. Nobody's enjoying them. I wonder why. It's almost like nobody wants to see him. Nobody wants to see him, uh, which is so fun. And I'd just like to point out, if he's your lifeguard, I'd be wearing water wings, a vest, I'd have a whistle, I'd put my phone in a waterproof pouch to call triple zero or whatever the number is in Kuwait because he can barely save himself. Do you really think that if Chantal got into trouble in that swimming pool, that he could heft her 400 pound body out of that pool and start performing CPR on her frame? I don't think so. I bet he can barely push himself out of the water on his own steam. I bet he uses the stairs. I bet he can't do those really gnarly chest press-ups to get himself out of the water. He doesn't have the upper body strength. He's not saving anybody. Anybody. He's there to keep her entertained. He's there or she... If he doesn't go, she doesn't go. That's, that's the rules. Okay, so next. Brows. We're doing the brows next. Okay. So I'm just trying to do this quickly. So if it's a bit messy, I apologize. Okay, so we've got to draw on the brows. I use a couple of different things, but at the minute, my favorite is this one. It's a real precision one and it blends really well. It is Infallible Brows and it is, I think it's Maybelline or L'Oreal. can't remember. It doesn't have it on here and I can't read it and I don't want to squint. I've got to shut one eye to read it. It is L'Oreal. It's a L'Oreal one. 
and it's got a really fine point on it so you can really get those edges in so i'm going to be in here for a minute because i can't see so yeah so sailor is not really a lifesaver he's more of a i don't know playmate chaperone I don't know. I don't know. But he's definitely not the one to save Chantal in the pool because he can barely swim for himself. Save yourself, man. Um, yeah, so Chantal's health conditions, whatever. No surprise. Um, clickbaits. It's for the views. Um, do we think, I'm guessing, Pot Pie is going to be the next buck bang? She's going to be like, I'm feeling so much better. Everything's resolved. The medication that they've got me on is working. Blah, 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 blah. That's what's going to happen. Is she going to fix anything? No. Is is the it's just going to magically go away? She's going to stop talking about it like she does with the diabetes. You know, she'll be reminded by a chat that she's got some health problems, but she's not really going to do anything about it. Now, I also have some other questions. Now, when they do a panel for like kidneys and stuff, they're usually not going to waste their time. They're going to look at Chantal and think, "Fuck, this bitch has got other stuff going on. Let's check it all. Let's check her liver. Let's check her heart. Let's just do all the bloods. Let's do everything." So I'm sure there's probably some other underlying stuff going on. Now, I'm wondering, how's your liver? How's your enlarged heart? How are those going? Are they doing well? Because I'm pretty sure that if one thing's struggling because of your bad eating habits, I'm sure that the whole rest of it's probably not doing so well. It's not ticking over like it should be. Did they find some other stuff? Did they find that the heart is a little bit bigger than it was last time? Did they find that your, your liver is even like worse than it was the, than the previous test results? I would expect that she's just got her blood panels back and they have not come back good. And now she's starting to panic. Now, she's pretending like she's panicking because she's got to travel. I don't think that's probably true. Because who's she's got to say, Sala, maybe we shouldn't go. Because, you know, because she doesn't really like traveling anyway. Let's be honest. She doesn't really want to go because Sala's, you know. If Sala wanted to stay home and eat popcorn all night and every day, she would be like, oh, my God, eating popcorn at home is the best thing ever. I'm such a homebody. We are totally introverts. You know, if that's what Sala wanted to do, she'd be wanting to do that too. She only does the outdoorsy things because that's what Sala wants to do. She's an indoorsy girl, we know. Yep. I'm glad she finally admitted that the... Oh, sorry about the clanking, guys. Just trying to find my brush. Just trying to find... Hey, there he is. This is the one. Now, I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows a little bit. Um, um, yeah, so for somebody who was agoraphobic, she's now admitted clearly she's in because she's quite ignorant. Um, for somebody who was standing outside in a couple of nature reserves in Canada telling us how much she loves the nature and she loves the sky and she loves the open spaces. Um, that would not be uh, a, a, somebody who's suffering from the agoraphobia at the time, no. And she did realise how stupid and silly that sounded. Yes, yes, she did. Um, oh, I'm looking very groucho marks, aren't I? Don't worry, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. I just put a bit of concealer and then just clean up the edges. Normally I would use... Um, cotton tips, but I just, I've got them. So we're just going to do this instead. We're just going to do this instead. I'll just put a little bit here and then clean it up. Not that anybody's going to take my eyebrow advice, because my eyebrows usually look shocking, but this is the best I can do, okay? Okay. And I've got to focus, because I've got to do straight lines. It's better. Okay. And now, you just get the brush again. Oh, we've got to get the spoolie. We get the spoolie. Get the spoolie and we brush them into place. Just blend it, blend it, blend it. Okay, and then we get this guy. And then we just blend that bit in. See, now it doesn't look so crazy. See, see, not so bad. Not so bad, not quite villainous enough. I'm not villainous enough, I know. I know. Okay, so we put that one back. And I like to try and keep everything organized because I can't deal. I can't deal with the messiness of the makeup. Okay, so now, I have got a new one. I bought myself a new Matte Naturals because this one's starting to get a little bit, she's a bit gross. So, um, it's not too bad. Oh, you can tell which colours I use the most. Very apricot-y, naturally ones. Um, no, don't need you. I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush because we're not going to do anything cut creasy or anything today. We're literally just going to mat it out and just put some peach or something on there. Okay. And that's the reason I've got to get a new one because my favourites are starting to run out. 
Um, okay. Yeah, so foodie's got a lot going on and not much resources to get it sorted. So I'm thinking plan of action. Let's boss foodie around. Plan of action for foodie. I know you've just come back from Canada and she's not going to want to go back to Canada because she doesn't want to leave Sala because she can't leave Sala for a long amount of time because, you know, his dick wanders um, and his fingers wander on the internet. So that's why. So her desire to stay with Sala and her ED, because her ED is pushing it too, is what's going to end her in the end, her stubbornness, her ego. It is more important to her to stop Sala from cheating on her, which she won't be able to do anyway, and she wasn't able to in the first and second place, is more important to her than actually going home and getting help that would save her life. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty sad, and I think that's pretty accurate, to be honest. She would rather stay there to make sure he doesn't cheat on her than go home and get help. Um, free help. Because how are you going to pay for the intensive health care that you need in Kuwait and go on a big holiday? And how do we know that this time isn't going to turn into a six-week holiday that you can't afford like Thailand? How do we know this? Huh? Because it's getting harder and harder to get those visas, so it seems. It's more and more unpredictable. So you've got to have more resources. And your views are becoming less and less. The resources are less and less. And you've got more and more um, medical things to take care of. So how are, you, how are we wangling that? Is that where your stress is coming from, foodie? It is all starting to crumble down. The money's not there. The health issues are there. You don't have the resources, but you're forced to travel. Now, if you weren't forced to travel, you'd be fine because you wouldn't be having to spend all this money on these expensive expensive trips that are unnecessary other than to keep you in the country, married to the man that you so desperately want. You've created a vicious cycle for yourself. Your health can't get treated because you've got to travel. You've got to spend the money on the travel instead of spending the money on your health. Now, your health is going to be unchecked. Because you ref you're so desperate to be with this man in Kuwait that you can't go home to Canada to get your health treated because you're stuck in Kuwait because he's a cheater. Like, you've really, you've really worked the magic. Your life is just aces, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's just going to clean up the blowback and then just buff it in. Don't need it to be too dramatic today. Some days I like a big, bold look and then today I'm just like running out of time. So we're just going to do something really, really chill. Okay, so that's it. And the reason I, I use these like soft, soft, like earthy colors is because it makes my green eyes pop a little bit. And now, you know what I'm going to use now because everybody knows that I am a massive, massive fan, massive fan of the Maybelline Extra 3D Lash Best Makeup Mascara Ever. Love it. It's so good. Um, you can build it. You've got to let it dry though or it goes under the eye. But once it's dry, it's, it's so good. It's so good. I'll do one, I'll do one eye, eyelashes so you can see the difference. I mean, I don't have short eyelashes, but I don't have incredibly long eyelashes either. Like, mascara does a good job on mine. And I like it because it doesn't go real clumpy. And the brush, the spool's really good. Look at it. It's straight. I don't like the curved ones. I find them a bit messy. I like a straight one that I can adjust and I can wiggle it in there. Wiggle it in the roots. And I do find that I try to attack the outer edges a little bit more. I just gotta wait for it to dry. But see the difference? Like, can you tell? It's subtle, but it's pretty. Okay. And I don't use a lot of eyeliner anymore. Sometimes I'll run it on the inside of my eye, and then other days I don't. When I try to do something clear and like clean and natural looking, I don't use a lot of eyeliner. I just try and enhance my natural beauty. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh, and I forgot to mention, as my mascara dries, my Pandora rings came. Look, see? Na, 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 na. I've got to do new nails. Maybe tonight I'll do them. But yeah, my Pandora nails come. And my mum loves them so much. She wants some too, but I'll get hers in gold. She's moving soon. She's moving away. It's too far away. So I might get them for her as a going away present. So she can remember me forever. So that way I've got them, my mum's got them, and my best friend's got them. So... My three best girls. And then I just got to get my other best friend a set. And then all of us have got it. Yay. It'll be the clue. In case if they ever need to identify the body, they'll be like, oh, look for the rings. 
Um, so yeah, so now we're just gonna put a lipstick on. This is my lipstick bucket. Look, I've got so many, I'm ridiculous. But today we're just gonna use some plumper, that's it. So this one is the W7 Hot Oil Plumper. It's so good. It's better than the really expensive hot lips or whatever it is. I bought a really expensive one. And to be honest, all the other ones I've used, the Kmart ones, the there's another Bill Blah 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 brand I use. The Essence one is pretty close to this. And then there's this one. They're just as good, to be honest. Um, the D It's even better than the Dior Plumper that I got for my birthday. So just a little bit of this. And then I'll use like a lip balm because we're going, going into winter and I dry out. Oh my God. I look like dust in winter. So we've got to use the lip balms, the stained lip balm. Oh, I can feel the tinkle already. And this goes in my bra. I keep all my lip glosses and my lip balms and stuff in my bra so I can just pop them on throughout the day. Yeah, I do. Um, so recap. Foodie Beauty's fucked. Kidneys are shot. Woohoo, baby J, karma. Um... She was railroaded about talking about it because she's a clickbaity bitch because she needs the views, because she needs the money, because she needs to travel, because she needs to try and keep Salah and the visa status, and that's just not going to be good for her. She should be putting her money towards her health. She won't do it because her ego won't allow it to because she's got to cheat her husband. Recap. There you go. That's it. She's fucked, basically. Isn't it fun? So fun. Um, but I'm just hanging out for her next mukbang because you know it's coming because she's not going to change anything. She's going to be scared. She's going to react. She's going to be like, oh, no, dire health issue. And then she'll just go back to the same thing and pretend like it's not happening. Yeah. And we're getting closer and closer. We are getting, and I'm not happy about it. I'm smiling because, you know, I'm a happy gal. We're getting closer and closer and closer to an extreme medical event. Um, I just hope it doesn't happen on holiday um, because that's going to be really bad. It is just bad. Bad for foodie. I mean, it doesn't even matter if it's bad for us, but it's just going to be bad. It's not going to be good. And that's just, and that's why I wouldn't be traveling either. Until her health stabilizes, I would not be going anywhere. I'd cancel the trip. Cancel the trip. Okay. Um, but anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. Um, sorry if this was a bit rushed and a bit fast and a bit quick and not the same sort of like rhythm that you used to, but I've just, I've got to use my time wisely. Got to multitask. Well, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts. And if there's anything I've missed, let me know.